Hello people from the world, I finally bought some Japanese 151. Hello people, it's Bear here, your favorite European Pokétuber, and as you can see today, we're going to take a look at why I bought 151. Well, we're going to take a look at, we're going to take a look at some data, we're going to take a look at supply, price, volume, and market depth. All this in today's video, so buckle up as we get started. So we're going to go over this data which is publicly available just by joining the Discord. There's a bot, you can query the bot when it's aligned because I am broke. I don't charge you anything, so it, it only works when I'm aligned. Uh, if, you, if you want to do, make any donation and want me to run it 24 seven, uh, I'm, I'm all ears. So if you join the Discord, the link is down below. It's up, everything is absolutely free and you can get access to all this data, which if you're new to the channel, this is European data. If you're American, why should you care? Well, as I always say, this comes from Japan. It's also written somewhere down here for Japan only. So it, it will reflect in some way what's going on in the overall market. So I'm wasting too much time with this, this intro. So in today's video, we're going to see why I bought it now, especially why did I, why I do it now? What's going on in the market? Let's we're going to take a look as you can see supplies right here, market death, uh, we'll see what's happening with prices. And then another thing I want to touch on is the quantity I bought and why I bought that quantity. So supply, as you can see, this is more than two months worth of data. Um, as I always say, there's a video back in the channel where I did have data, which I lost because sometimes I am an idiot myself. Hey from the future here, I figured that I never told you um, why and how I lost that data. And um, it's pretty funny when I think about it and when I say it. Um, so if you're interested, uh, you can skip, I'll leave you the timestamp. But uh, what happened basically is I was using Excel to drag down all the data, just like an amateur. Um, and uh, once I tried to imp implement a new function, when doing that, uh, I compromised the Excel file. So what happened basically was uh, once I tried to run that uh, function, uh, that bot command, um, when uh, you know executing the code, and opening, doing all that stuff, looking for data in the Excel sheet, the file got compromised. So usually what happens when um, something um, unusual happens in an Excel uh, file, Excel will automatically erase all the data. Um, usually they do it as a sort of uh, safety uh, to prevent from uh, data corruption. So that's what happened. Uh, and uh, basically it turned into a blank spreadsheet. Uh, so ever since that, a uh, lesson learned, and I changed the way I store data. It's no longer Excel like an amateur. I started to use more professional ways. Funny story, most of you may not interest, uh, but uh, if, if you're into technicals like myself, uh, I, I figure uh, you may be interested. So, so the lesson is do not use Excel. Excel will ruin your reputation. Reprint, the number of boxes in the market were in the two to 300. You can go watch that video is uh, on a channel. It's before the reprint, so look for that video, and you will see that before the reprint, that was the number of boxes available on the European market. And we remember where prices were. Now, as you can see, what the interesting thing is, every time, so this after the reprint, uh, that product got, got dumped into the market. Now, once the number of boxes start to stabilize around the two thousand items, you can see that demand kicked in. Why? Well, if we go on to the other slide, as you can see here, while boxes were dumped into the market, price was going down. Now, this blue line, as you can see here, is the average of the four lowest listings prices. So, while supply was stepping into the market, what was price doing? Price was going down. That's what we'd expect. Basic microeconomics, right? Exactly. So, once that happened, what happened here? People started to buy. Sellers list again, people bought, seller listed, and people bought. What would you expect when supply meets demand? When their sales happen, but there's still a ton of supply in the market, right? Over 2,000 boxes, but people buy, what do you expect price to be stable? Well, if you were thinking, well, I would expect price to be to go up because people were buying. Yes, it is true what people are then buying, but the fact that supply was so abundant into the market will keep prices stable. If people were buying and they were taking supply out of the market and no other supply was injected into the market, then that's what would happen usually. 
you would have prices to rise. If once you buy, supply is dumped back into the market, there's new supply hitting the market, then you will see stagnation. That's what I wanted to see personally. I want to see that demand was there, which again, demand is the most important factor. You have you can have one of this printed in the world, in the whole wide world, you can have one of this printed. If you do not have a buyer, if no one buys this, you are not going to sell it. You need demand. And uh, we'll touch that later on in this video when I'm going to talk on the quantity I bought it and why I bought such quantity. That also has to do with demand and supply. Now, that being said, what's happening here is you can see basically it looks like, for now, supply is no longer hitting the market. Now, if you think about Japanese prices, and I'll pop up a screenshot that I took on a Facebook group. I'll um, hide the name, but it's a, it's a very well-known group uh, that you, you can join and you can have access to that data. It's now selling for 9,500 yen, if I'm not mistaken, which equals to about $60. Now, if you'll pay attention, the price here is higher. Why is it higher? Because we do have a higher sales tax, VAT, call it whatever you want, in the European Union. On average, it's going to be at least double than what you pay guys there in the US. That's why prices in the European Union, they're going to get started higher than in the US because of that problem. When you import, you have a higher sales tax. Now, before we move on to market depth, as you can see, what I want you to say is demand was starting to take supply out of the market and it was looking like now many sellers may prove me wrong uh, very soon it looks like people no longer have boxes to list at least for these prices for the lowest prices now this is volume what is this so as you can see here every on the x-axis you have prices so every interval is going to be roughly a five euro interval and here you have the number of boxes available at that price range. As you can see, the most number of boxes stands between 70 and 90 euros. That's where the most supply is. That's pretty much uh, around market price. Uh, right now, it is selling for as low as 70 euros plus shipping. I know it's a bit cheaper in the US. I just said why. It all comes down to sales tax. But the important thing is that for now, it looks like volume is drying up at around this price range in the neighborhood, as we would like to say in mathematical terms, of 80 euros. That's what I was looking in the market. You could see that going on to listings and check daily, or you can simply utilize the bot that I myself created. Now, market death. What is market death? Market, every dot represents a listing. Once again, here you have a price on the x axis and you have the number of items on the y-axis. This dot right here, where my mouse is, would mean that at about 75 euros right here, you have someone that listed just below 40 boxes. This dot right here would mean that at about 90 euros, you would have someone with 80 boxes listed. Every dot is listing. This is another function that I coded to look at market depth. Now, what we want to see as investors, we want to see all these dots here on the upper part of, of the chart disappear. Why? That is where supply is. This is. These are sellers that have a large amount of boxes. When these sellers dry up, that's when you start to see the market shift towards higher prices. Whoever has the largest supply will make the market, at least will be a large part of the market. Who controls the supply controls the market. Now, that being said, why did I buy now? Well, I bought now because of the things I just showed you. Supply was going down, prices had been stagnating for a decent amount of time, over a month, and the seller with the lowest price and the highest amount of, of boxes was starting to sell out boxes. Those were all key factors that made me pull the trigger, as well as the fact that in Japan, prices were starting to move higher. Why were they moving higher? Well, most likely, sellers saw that demand was there, right? If demand is there, 
and supply starts dry up as i said in the beginning of the video and there's no longer supply coming into the market price will start to move higher that's the nature of these type of markets now how many boxes did i buy well i bought six why did i buy six well six i paid up uh, 409 euros shipped which it equals to a bit over 68 euros per box why did i buy six well if you are a subscriber which i would highly appreciate if you would turn into one right now you perhaps have seen my one of my latest video about vista universe i just bought a seal case of vista universe because i strongly believe it is one of the best set ever created by mankind look at the artworks you got your answers now not only i do believe vista universe is a better set when it comes to artworks and death than 151 but it comes down to how many people are hoarding japanese 151 now if you look at facebook groups instagram youtube you will see many people hoarding onto japanese 151 whereas you will not see as many people having vstar universe boxes why well vista universe released at the end of 2022 yes many people were aware of pokemon investing at the end of 2022 but i would argue much more people became aware of this phenomenon during recent times so you'd argue you have more people interest holding these boxes for the long term whatever long term you think it is some think it's a few years some think it's five years some think it's 10 20 50 whatever hold these boxes for this amount of time than the number of people that are doing the same for vista universe that's why i wanted to have a larger position in vista universe than japanese 151 now in the video i mentioned which should be popping up on top of my face as usual i do go over into more details why i bought vista universe in a similar style of video as this one so in a nutshell the problem was many people were already on to this product which is not necessarily a bad thing we've seen demand is extremely strong for this set which is why i bought it i like to see demand we also know supply is extremely abundant however it comes naturally to mind evolutions right evolutions was extremely abundant in supply but demand slowly and steadily ate all that supply up that's what could happen with japanese 151 however due to the greater number of people which is all to be determined i don't have numbers i don't know how many people have whatever number of japanese boxes in their house i have no idea just like i have no idea how many people were holding evolutions i do assume somehow safely that the number for 151 is greater than the number for people holding holding evolutions for that reason i did not want to go as heavy as maybe other people did can i be wrong absolutely will i be wrong time will tell did i take the right decision with all the information i had available at the time i bought it and am i happy with my logical and rational decision absolutely yes if time will prove me wrong at least i followed my plan thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one arrivederci Hello people, it's better here, you're for you appear. Not I am in a similar style style.